Welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus, chapter 24, verses 17 and 18. And let's read it. And to the eyes of the sons of Israel, the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the mountaintop. Moses entered the midst of the cloud as he went up to the mountain, and Moses was on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. So, as we said before, Moses is going to be gone a while. He sets this up with Aaron and her. If anybody has any issues, you bring them to these guys. I might be gone a while. 40 days, Moses has gone up on the mountain. God is like a consuming fire on the mountaintop. He doesn't relent. This is full-blown pyrotechnics, and the people are being impressed. God wants them to see and realize that they're dealing with a holy God, so they get the full uh, Fourth of July type treatment here. Very, uh, very full treatment. Do you remember how many days was Jesus alone in the wilderness uh, there? The Holy Spirit ekbalowed him and threw him, cast him into the wilderness. Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days. How many days is Moses on the mountain? Well, the first six days or seven days and then 40 more. And so there's definitely an interesting parallel here between Moses and Jesus again. Uh, Jesus is in the wilderness 40 days. Moses is on the mountain with God for 40 days. Did Jesus eat during those 40 days? No. Did Moses eat during those 40 days? Apparently, he didn't really eat during those 40 days. So he was perhaps supernaturally sustained and Jesus, of course, was sustained also. So God will be with us if we do what he says. He will sustain us. I looked at some of these commentaries, and they say that, well, 40, when it says 40 days, 40 usually will mean literally 40, but it may sometimes mean also uh, a long period of time, like maybe around 40 days. So I'm not sure which one it is here. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. What I am sure is that Moses was on the mountain for 40 days at least, something like that, at the bare minimum. And this is going to be hard for the people to be without Moses for 40 days. But that's why these other arrangements were made. But we'll see what, what comes of that. All right, we don't need to wait 40 days. Come back here tomorrow morning and we'll carry on into chapter 25. But we have a section from chapter 25 out to 31 or 32 there where we're going to get some interesting business about something, some weird thing called the sanctuary, the tabernacle. See you tomorrow morning.